Говорят, что очень интересный получается хлеб, если сам человек своими руками посадил зерно, зерно в землю. Если оно выросло, they say если bread can be extremely молотил, nice if a man has planted the seed himself, if it has grown, if he has thrashed and ground it himself. It's a very interesting activity to keep an orchard or a garden in order. But one shouldn't spend too much effort on this very activity. I wonder how this rye has grown after a cold winter. It was neither watered nor manured. This year was very dry as well as the summer, unbelievably dry. If you watch TV, you must be aware of the fact that this year the state of emergency was announced in most regions, so there was no chance to water rye. Winter was severe, but rye has grown well. Though we still have to make an effort to gather in the crops and put the rye into sacks, but it's pleasant work because you are working for yourself and not for somebody else. When you work for yourself, it's always a pleasure. Moreover, waking up at 5 a.m. to cut down rye when it's still wet is like morning exercising. Then you have to put rye together into sheaves and leave them in the sun to dry up for a day. In fact, they should be left drying for a long period of time, but as the rye has already become overripe, the grains fall off when you take a spike in your hand. I'd like to wish those people who like to work in their gardens good luck, although I suppose anything should be planted in such a way that it won't take you too much effort to keep it in order. I like being here right now, although there are such places with such plants that should be taken care of every day. They should either be weeded or watered. It's also a good workout. I would like to congratulate all my readers with having a wonderful dream of Anastasia in their soul, which continues to live and create. I wish all of them to keep fit, and most of all, I'm glad that these people will be the parents of a wonderful generation, not a new one, but just a wonderful one. Не новое поколение, а просто прекрасное поколение, они будут возрождаться вновь. Потому что человек, который создаст вот... They will be reborn again, because those people who create oases will surely be back someday. The nature around remembers them and longs for them. Бывает, умирает человек. Sometimes a man dies, and people forget about him. Even his closest relatives don't remember him. Look how many graves are left in the churchyard without any attention. But everything in the garden, where you touched an apple tree with joy, will suddenly return you to the earth. I would also like to appeal to my foreign readers. It's unbelievable, but the idea of Anastasia is perceived the same way by people of different nationalities and in different countries in general. Perhaps some of the translations are better than others, but in any translation, in any translation, the idea of the book becomes evident, touching the hearts of people, and this makes me feel glad. Maybe people will wake up to realize some things in some country. As a rule, it happens to women. But perhaps there will appear the same millionaire as the one described in the chapter Millionaire. I do like this chapter, especially the way the man brought himself back to life. And he also brought his love back to life. I wish all my foreign readers to return to the state of their first love with the woman who they live with in a nice state. Удачи всем, счастья и хороших творческих успехов на земле. I wish all of you good luck, 
happiness and every success in creating a wealthy human environment of love for yourself, your family and other people living on the earth.